OK， 同学们，你们好吗？今天是 New Practical Chinese Reader 的第五课，那么欢迎回来，希望各位都复习了。Hope you guys reviewed already, because today is already lesson five. Now start from the last lesson. I um yeah, I assume that most of you um. Already noticed this.、Uh, I am speaking in a faster way, and of course, I'm、uh, trying to expand a bit more, especially for vocabulary. Because,、um, yeah, as、uh, as time goes by, we need to learn more and more, so that you can、uh, be more confident. And、uh, yeah, it is、uh, once it started、uh, to like、um, get more challenging, then you should be,、uh, yeah, you should have more interest about learning Chinese, so that you can ex、uh, explore more. OK， 那么我们先复习一下。So before we move on, again we have to review. OK, so about the、uh, self intro. So I assume that you can say something about yourself already. 你叫什么名字 ？OK, so what's your name? So first, uh, like, uh, my surname is, and followed by my given name. 我姓吴，叫悠悠。Okay, so my first name is 悠悠 and my surname is Wu. 你是中国人吗 ？So are you a Chinese? And of course, you can also ask where, uh, someone, uh, is from. 我是中国人 ，I am Chinese. Okay. 我是 Dick Mandarin 的汉语老师 ，so I'm a Mandarin teacher from Dick Mandarin. 我教汉语 ，I I teach Chinese. 认识你很高兴 ，It is very pleased. I'm very pleased to know you. Okay, so very easy, but I hope you can you know、uh, be able to ask and answer at the same time. Okay, so today's lesson will be 在哪 Okay, so describe the、uh, location in a very easy way. 我们来看第一句 Let's see the first sentence. 请问这是王小云的宿舍吗 Okay, so 请问 we learned that before. 问 means ask. Please ask. So you always begin the question by using 请问 to show you're being very polite. Okay, 这是 okay. 这是王小云的宿舍吗 Would be um is the、uh, dormitory is uh is this the dormitory of Wang Xiaoyun? Okay, so the we learned before is possessive case. So Wang Xiaoyun, Wang Xiaoyun is a person's name. Wang Xiaoyun the would be Wang Xiaoyun's. Okay, 宿舍 dormitory. 这 would be this. Okay, 这是 this is. And then we add ma. Now be an、um, a yes or no question. Okay, so pronoun or noun at the, then you add noun. This is possessive case. 下一句 next sentence 是 OK 是 would be yes it is OK so in Chinese we usually don't say yes or no we just use the verb to answer if it's affirmative answer if it's negation then we add 不 then the verb or like 不 ah、uh, the predicate sometimes it could be an adjective as well. 请进 ，OK. Please enter, right? 请进杨老师 like what we learned last time. 请坐 ，please sit, OK. Please sit down. And here, um,、uh, to answer yes or no questions, if it's yes, ah,、uh, yeah, 是 because the verb here is 是 like 这是王小云的宿舍吗 Is it the dormitory of Wang Xiaoyun? If it's negation, if it's not, ah,、uh, her dormitory. 不是 ，OK， 不是。So, 请 adverb, then it means please do something. OK, please. 下一句 next sentence. 谢谢 ，thanks or thank you. 王小云在吗 ？OK， 在吗 ？Would be 
Wang Xiaoyun is Wang Xiaoyun there? Okay, Zai would be uh, when you're trying to describe uh, someone's location. Okay, so in fact, Wang Xiaoyun Zai ma would be Wang Xiaoyun Zai Zhe ma. Is she here? Okay, Ta Bu Zai. Okay, so let's see. Zai would be, um, yeah, the morphing you put before a location. Okay, after Zai. Okay, after the subject, you put Zai and then you put a place or you can put a city or a country to indicate the location. And if you add verbs after Zai or verb phrases, would be someone is trying to do some, is doing something. Okay. If you want to say Zai Ma would be uh, is someone here or there or is someone on the phone? Okay, so you can say uh, if you want to say uh, is Miss Chen here? Chen Lao Shi Zai Ma. Okay, Chen Lao Shi Zai Ma would be uh, is Miss Miss Chen here? And another is uh, for affirmative you use Zai and for ne negative you put Bu before. Zai, that is Bu Zai, okay, Bu Zai, not there or not here. Xia Yu, next sentence. Ta Zai Na Er, Ta Zai Na Er, okay. So where, okay, we can use Na, like Na Guo Ren, okay. Na can be where or it could be which, and but when it comes to where, you can use Na, Na Li, or or. Nar, okay, but the second one is the most commonly used, I think. Okay, na, na li, nar. All of these they mean the same thing. Where? Ta zai na li. Okay, so ta zai nar. You can also say ta zai na li. Okay, if she is in dormitory. Okay, ta zai su she. Okay, ta zai su she. 下一句 ，next sentence， 对不起，我不知道。OK， 对不起 would be sorry or excuse me， 我不知道 ，I don't know。OK， I don't know。我知道 would be I know。OK， I know。我不知道 is I don't know。Okay, when it comes to you know uh, good matters, politeness, you need to know the following as well. So, 对不起 is sorry, right? If you want to say it's okay, it's alright, 没关系，没关系 Okay, 好，再见，再见 Okay, 好 would be okay, no problem. 再见 is goodbye. Okay, so 再 would be again. 见 is to meet. Okay, to see someone again, see you again, um, meet you again. 再见 But young people would just say bye bye. Okay, it is very easy and very convenient for us to switch to English all the time. So even if for old people, they will always use bye bye. Maybe they will just say 你好 instead of hello or hi when they're meeting you. But when it comes to saying goodbye, everyone is saying bye bye. Okay. So here, um, you need to know some, you know, uh, good matter sentences. 对不起，或者 or 不好意思。So this is used for um excuse me or sorry when you're trying to apologize. If you want to say it's okay, 没关系，或者 or 没事。Okay, 没关系，没事 would be it's okay. It doesn't matter. 谢谢你 ，Thank you. 不客气，不客气 would be um you don't have to uh you don't have to mention it uh anytime you're welcome, and pay attention. 没事 can be either used for it's okay, it's alright, or you can use 没事 for you're welcome. Please look at the conversation. Let's see the conversation. 请问这是王小云的宿舍吗？是，请进，请坐。谢谢。王小云在吗？
，他不在。他在哪儿？对不起，我不知道。没关系，好，再见，再见。Okay, so for location, we have another conversation for you to learn as well. 请看第一句 Please see the first sentence. 小姐，请问餐厅在哪儿 Okay, 小姐 So here would be Miss, but you can almost use 小姐 for uh any um for any. Female in formal situation or in public area, as long as she is not too old. Okay, yeah. Now, if for、uh, older ladies, you can just say 女士 Okay, 女士 But both of these are okay for uh okay for ladies. I think. Yeah, for uh like uh in an airplane or in a restaurant or maybe you're in a, a service center. And another is for male. We use 先生 okay, 先生 that will be gentleman. So no matter how old he is, but maybe for uh yeah for um boys and girls, you can just use uh 小朋友 okay, 小朋友 that will be a、uh, little friend okay, 小朋友 And Uh, the second sentence is, 请问餐厅在哪儿 Okay, 请问 always begin. 请问 when you are trying to show your politeness, uh, before asking the question. 餐厅 restaurant. Okay, 在哪儿 Where is the restaurant? Okay, 餐厅在哪儿请看下一句，在二层二零四号 Okay, 二层 Okay, numbers. Okay. Before 层 or before 楼 if you want to say which floor it is, then you add numbers, and it is different from British numbers. So the ground floor is already the first floor, and the first floor in UK would be the second floor. So、uh, China and the US were the same, but for、uh, you know British. People in any British、uh, colonist countries, then、uh, the ground floor is zero, and then you count from the second. Okay, so it is.、Uh, yeah, it's a bit confusing. 二零四号号 is、uh, the Chinese character for numbers. Okay, so 二层 also means 二楼 Okay. 二层 also means 二楼 In fact, 二楼 is more commonly used when it comes to the second floor. And another is how is the number? Okay, how is the character? Okay, Chinese character exactly for the English word number. So 二零四号 would be number two o four, or you can say room number two o four on the second floor. 下一句 next sentence. 谢谢，不用谢。Okay, 不用谢。谢谢 we learned before. Ah,、uh, 谢谢 means thanks, and 不用谢 would be you don't have to thanks. Okay, 不用 would be not necessary. 谢 is to thank. Okay, 不用谢 you don't have to thank. It's not necessary for you to thanks. 大为，我们在这儿。Okay, 大为 uh is the uh, name. 我们在这儿这儿 would be here. Okay, 我们在这儿 would be we are here. 这儿 you can also use 这里 Okay, in fact, 这里 is more commonly used. Okay, 我们在这儿或者 or 我们在这里 And 那儿 would be there. And another is 那里 of course. The second one, 这里 and 那里 are more commonly used. 下一句 next sentence. 对不起，我来晚了 Okay, 对不起 would be sorry. 我来 would be come. Okay, come. 晚 is late. Okay. L means something has been done.、Uh, it is a morpheme,、uh, but the grammar is a bit hard for you to understand now. So we're not learning it now. If you came late and you were late for something, you can just say, 对不起，我来晚了 Okay, 来 means come, and 晚 means late. 
Another is 早 means early. Okay, 早 is early. 没关系 would be ah,、uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here ah、uh, is our practice time, and I listed some of the ah、uh, uh, words. So the first one is、uh, the person. Okay. The second one is a place. The third one is also a place. So we're gonna ask question in this way. So you ask whether the person is in the first place, and the answer would be she's not in the first place. Then you ask where she,、uh, he is, and then you answer she or he is in the second place. Okay. 我来示范一下。I will do one demonstration. 老师 teacher, 办公室 office, 餐厅 restaurant. 老师在办公室吗 Is the teacher in the office? Okay. 老师不在办公室 Teacher, the teacher is not in the office. Okay. Then you ask where the teacher is. 老师在哪里 ？She's in the restaurant. 老师在餐厅。该你了 ，Your turn. 第二组 ，The second group. 老板 ，Boss. 办公室 ，Office. 洗手间 ，Bathroom. 怎么问 ？How to ask? 老板在办公室吗？ Is the boss in the office? Then the boss is not in the office, right? 老板不在办公室 So to ask where he is, 怎么问 How to ask? 老板在哪里 Okay. He is in the bathroom. 老板在洗手间继续 Okay. Continue. 你的家 ，OK， 你的家 ，your home， 家 is home，OK，、okay, 你的家，还可以说 ，you can also say 你家 ，so the here can be omitted。香港 ，Hong Kong， 加拿大 ，Canada。你的家在香港吗 ？So is your home in Hong Kong？ 我的家，那你的家啊、哦，我的家。My home, okay. 我的家不在香港。你的家在哪里？我的家在加拿大。继续 ，continue. 你的公司 ，your company， 亚洲 ，Asia， 欧洲 ，Europe。你的公司在亚洲吗？我的公司不在亚洲。你的公司在哪里？我的公司在欧洲。最后一个 ，last one， 他 ，he， 机场 ，airport， 车站 ，bus or train station。Car means vehicle. It could be train. It could be cars. It could be buses. Or yeah, it could be any、um, any transportation on the road. 站 is station. So 车站 would be、uh, station or bus station, train station. 他在机场吗？他不在机场。他在哪里？他在车站。Okay, so、uh, we mentioned numbers. Okay, so here I listed numbers from zero to ten. Say it with me. 跟我读。零，零，一，一，二，二。三，三，四，四，五，五，六，六，七。
七，七，八，八，九，九，十，十。请看对话。Let's see the conversation. 小姐，请问餐厅在哪儿？在二层二零四号。谢谢。不用谢。大为，我们在这儿。对不起，我来晚了。没关系。Okay, so today we learned 在 and 哪里 Okay, so you should be able to ask whether someone is in a place and be able to、uh, ask the question where he is and be able to do the negation as well. So for numbers,、uh, you add low, then that will be which floor, and then you add how, that will be room numbers. Okay, try to recite、uh, from zero to ten. 好的，那么今天我们就学这么多。So thank you for watching and hope to see you next time soon. And never rush because, uh, you know, I'm adding more materials and more vocabulary into each lesson. So, uh, yeah, just don't be too urgent because the more urgent you are, then, uh, the more details you're gonna lose. So it'll be very good if you can. Make sure you had、uh, enough revision time. In fact, revision is more important than study new lessons sometimes because、uh, you can only、uh, move on to the next without having too many problems or difficulties once、uh, you achieve enough, you know, self study time. Okay. 那么感谢你的观看，让我们下次再见 Thank you for watching and see you next time.